Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Worth Unlimited ALOC presentation. This is National Sales and Training Director Max Saunders, and we want to welcome you to the call. Our story is a rather interesting story. We started in the mortgage industry in 1997 and became one of Utah's fastest growing companies in just a three-year period. During that period of time, we realized the significance and problem with debt, and we launched our first version of this program that you're going to see tonight, the Worth Account, in 2004. I performed a beta test market between 2005 and 2006, and I placed personally the first 400 homeowners on this product. And what we found was so amazing was after the clients had been on the product for about a year, we found that our average client was about 20% ahead of the initial results that we had given them from the free analysis. Uh, that shows a lot of power to the program that individuals got the concept, started working with the program, started modifying what they were doing with their finances to get on top of their finances, and actually beat what it was we gave them as an initial analysis of their current situation. To date, over 70,000 programs have been activated representing all walks of life and all 50 states with consumers on their way to being completely debt-free. We are very proud of this. We are the originators of this product. Uh, back at that time, uh, there was no one talking about debt elimination. There was no one talking about using uh, banking strategies or an online web-based uh, product to manage uh, this concept of float, arbitrage, leverage, uh, the concept of using advanced lines of credit. We are the originators of this concept. We literally crafted the online software through the assistance of John Washenko. Uh, Skylar Whitman was his partner and still is his partner. We have worked together now for 15 years. Skylar is the marketing genius behind the company, and John is the numbers man. And as you all may uh, now see, I am the voice of the company, and I've been very proud and very pr privileged to work with these gentlemen and to work with this product. We were recognized and awarded back in 2008 by Ernst & Young as Entrepreneur of the Year in the Utah Region for Financial Services. This is a very prestigious award. Uh, some of the companies that have received this award are Apple, eBay, Microsoft, Starbucks. So we're standing in very good company uh, with recognition and uh, a solid corporate model that has sustained um, since 2006 to today. You know, many times when we're looking at debt, we use the information that we've had from our past, but I think debt elimination, especially moving forward, has to incorporate technology and, and new thinking. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results, but if we want to truly break out of the bondage and the chains of debt, and truly that is what it is, if, if you are owing a lot of money, you are in bondage. Uh, to that debt. And what I mean by that is you're paying a lion's share of your money for things that you have already acquired. We cannot solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created those problems. We need new solutions. We need new technology. Uh, we need a new approach and a new view. The banking principles that we're going to look at tonight are closed in loans, amortization, interest cancellation, open end credit lines, float and leverage, and the concept of offset accounts or ALOTs. There's three basic components I want to review with you this evening of the Worth Account uh, System. This is your mortgage, an advanced line of credit, and the Worth Account program and coaching system. So let's jump right in and let's look at this first component, which is a closed-in loan. Now, a closed-in loan requires a minimum of full scheduled payment. It allows payment in but no withdrawals. It's driven by an amortization schedule and calculates interest charges from the month end principal balance. What we know about this type of loan is it's very restricted. There's not much flexibility with it. The only way you can destroy this type of loan is to power money to principal, and therein lies the conundrum. Where do we come up with this extra principal in order to power down uh, the principal balance and save time and interest? And that's what we're going to explore this evening. Uh, the closed-in loan, if we start with a $200,000 mortgage, 6% interest with a monthly payment of $1,199.10, that would be on a 360-month loan. 
we would pay back $431,677. That number is outrageous. That means we borrowed $200,000 in principal, and we're on the hook to pay back $231,677 in principal and interest. Let's take a look at how this comes together on an amortization schedule. If we make the first payment on that particular loan, $199.10 goes to principal and 1000 goes to interest. That means literally on that first payment, 83% of your payment went directly to interest. Now, look at this. In month two, your principal contribution only increases by $1. You have $200.10 going to principal and $999 going to interest. Now, as you proceed, you'll get a dollar and two cents, dollar and five cents, dollar and fourteen cents. But that is why it takes so long to pay off this type of loan, a closed-end loan, and we're using a mortgage as an example. In your first year, if you make every single payment on time, that means you paid in fourteen thousand three hundred eighty-nine dollars but you've only paid off $2,456 of principal. In year five, you paid in $71,946, but you've only paid off $13,891 in principal. That means you've already paid $58,055 in interest. And, you know, banks are aware of this, and most people tend to refinance, purchase, or sell, and banks tend to sell your loan to another bank within the first five to seven years. I'm here to tell you that if you have been caught in that, uh, that mill of refinancing every five to seven years, you're fully aware of this. Not only are you tacking that $58,000 of interest back into the beginning of the loan, but you have your closing costs and your fees. We have a solution that is much more equitable for you, the consumer, and is agreeable to the lending institution. What do you think the institution would rather do, sell off your loan or have you pay off the loan in the first five, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years? And I think we can all answer that question. So this is not in conflict uh, with any lenders or credit unions or anybody that's offering mortgages. In 10 years, you paid in $143,892. You've only paid off $32,628 in principal. And in year 21, look at that, you've paid $302. $2,173, and you've only paid off $100,122 in principal. I, I don't know about you, but if I paid in $302,000 on the $200,000 loan, I think I've already paid enough interest. I want to draw back to your attention that if you follow the regular scheduled payments, you're going to pay back $431,677, and that number is disgusting. That number should upset you enough that you would be willing to do something about it. So let's look at the traditional prepayment example. Let's say I make my first payment of $1,199.10, and let's say I was up to apply $5,000 with that payment and direct that money to principal, either by checking the box online or sending a note along with the check, however you're doing it, to apply that $5,000 to principal, making my first payment in the amount of $6,199. By doing this, it does not recast the loan, but moving into month two, our balance is $195,000. Actually, it's $195,000 less your $199.10 that went to principal on your original payment. But I'm going to go with the worst case scenario and say month two, we're starting off with $195,000. We're still at 6%. We still have a monthly payment of $1,199.10. But the reality is by applying $5,000 to principal, it will now only take us 337 months to pay off this loan. In other words, we eliminated 23 mortgage payments. I want you to think about that. Instead of paying back $231,677, we're now going to pay back $208,373. That's a net net savings of $23,000. $304. So that begs the question, would you make a $5,000 investment in yourself for a $23,000 return? And that for anybody should be a no-brainer. Yes, the $23,000 is on the back end of the loan, but here's the best part about it. There is no risk involved. The risk is that you have a 30-year note 
and that you're on the hook for $431,677. In this scenario, just one time application of $5,000, you are reducing $23,304 of interest. Conventional banking wisdom says that the only way that we can really get out of this type of loan or really help ourselves is refinance to a lower interest rate or apply more money to principal. The Worth Account Program says no refinancing of your first mortgage is necessary and with little to no alteration to your current standard of living. Let's take a look at component number two. This is that advanced line of credit we were talking about. The advanced line of credit is what we call an open-end loan. And here's the characteristics of that loan. Money will be applied to the loan balance when received. You don't have to make a full payment and you don't have to make a payment right at the beginning of the month. You can make multiple payments throughout the month. It has the ability to adjust the principal balance multiple times per month and use the daily balance to assess interest charges rather than the month end principal balance. What do we see with this type of loan? It's much more flexible. We can do a lot more with it. We can put money in. We can take money out. This is a much more equitable type of loan for us than a standard closed-in loan. In this advanced line of credit, I want to talk to you a little bit about the functionality. Your ALOC will function as a primary checking account, so to speak. It will receive all of your monthly income. You want to put as much money in there per month as you can. Uh, ALOCs typically provide the ability to pay your bills, and for optimum performance of this ALOC, you want to deposit the maximum amount of money into the ALOC per month, keep it there as long as possible, and spend the least amount by the end of each month. So let's look at a model monthly budget so we can kind of take a look at how this comes together. Let's say that our client makes $5,000 of monthly net income, and let's say they have $4,000 of living expense, meaning that they have $1,000 in discretionary income that they, they don't truly have earmarked for any specific purpose. Now, on this advanced line of credit, you can have a $30,000 line of credit with a $60,000 line of credit or a $200,000 line of credit. The client would pay off the first mortgage and all their other debt in the same amount of time. So the size of the ALOC is not the issue. It's the functionality and utilizing an online web-based management system for the ALOC to get you through this sequence. So let's look at month one if you were using the Worth account with an ALOC as the driving factor behind it. The maximum fee for the Worth account, the maximum fee is $3,500. Now, if you have questions about that, I can answer those tomorrow, but the maximum fee is $3,500, and we're going to say that our client paid for the program using their ALOC. They have $4,000 of living expenses, and remember, they're going to pay their bills out of the ALOC, and that gives them a balance of $7,500. In this instance, we are using the bank's money. I hope everybody sees this. Now let's look at interest cancellation. If I have a $7,500 average balance, now remember I get a $5,000 paycheck and I make a payment to my ALOC of $5,000, in other words, I place my paycheck on that balance, my new balance is $2,500. The bank can only charge interest on $2,500, and are you ready for this? At a 10% interest rate on an advanced line of credit, right now HELOCs, are offering interest rates in the in the high threes, low fours. If you have good credit, maybe moving to four to five if your credit's not so sharp. The bank can only charge interest on $2,500, and at a 10% interest rate, that would be a charge of $20.83. So let's do a review here. We had a starting balance of $3,500 to purchase the product on the ALOC. The average daily balance by applying the paycheck there was $2,500. The lender was looking for only a payment of $20.83. We never actually made a payment of $20.83. Our income covered the monthly payment, so we made the payment plus, plus, plus. The new average daily balance with finance charge is $2,520.83. We made a payment to the ALOC of $5,000. $7,500 money borrowed from the ALOC, 
$2,700 interest accessible balance. You paid no interest on the $4,000 you used to pay your living expenses. Your ALOC became the interest cancellation account. So let's look at the flow of this of kind of how money comes in. This is potentially tax deductible, but do consult your tax advisor. We are not CPAs and tax accountants. All right, so we have our checking account and we have our ALOC. And the way this comes together with the program, the online web-based system, the worth account, is income would come into your checking account. You would transfer that money from checking as a payment to your ALOC. You get another paycheck, balance goes up in the checking account, you're going to transfer that money over to the ALOC. And as you notice, each time we make a payment to the ALOC, it reduces the balance. Once the balance gets down to what is it's called an optimal transfer point that is different for every person because our finances and income is different. It is written into the algorithms of the Worth Account program. Once you get to that optimal transfer point, it will generate what is called a funds transfer. This is telling you to move money from the ALOC strategically to a very specific debt. The program will look at each one of your debts individually and simultaneously and strategically tell you the dollar amount and which debt to pay that money to. This program cannot be wrong. It can never put you in a worse position because it manages the flow of the money as well as the dollar value that it will tell you to send. It knows that you have that money on in hand and you will always benefit by following the program and sending the dollar value that it tells you to the debt it tells you to send it to. This is not guesswork. This is not round average numbers. This is not an Excel spreadsheet. And believe me, people, there is no other product on the market that does what our product does. We created it. We are the Cadillac, if you like American cars. We are the Mercedes Benz, if you like European cars, of debt elimination. So let's look at closed-end loan versus an open-end loan. Closed in loan, eliminate interest, control your money so money doesn't control you. That's what we're trying to accomplish is defeat this closed in loan. Get your money working for you. How do we do it? With an open end loan. Income forces adjustment to the principal balance and creates an interest cancellation account. Let's take a look at component number three and that is the worth account. The worth account is a financial dashboard. It's an expense planner. It's an online account register. It maximizes money performance, and it takes about 10 minutes per month to update. Now, if you have a lot of debt, if you have a lot of property, you could be 10 to 15 minutes a week. But I want to ask you a question. If you could stand to save 50000 60000 70, dollars 100000 200000 $300,000 in interest, would it be worth 10 minutes to update per week? Would it be worth 15 minutes to update per week? The Worth Account program does not move money. We are not changing your banking. You do not have to refinance. You do not have to change checking and savings accounts. The Worth Account does not pay bills. Whatever you are using in your current bill pay strategy, you would continue to pay your bills just following the prompts of the Worth Account program. We set it up this way so there is no pathway from the Worth Account to your bank account. This makes the program 100% secure, safe, and easy to use. The program is user-friendly. It's simple to update. It provides a tracking tool, functions as an account register. It wants to know how much money is coming in and how much money is going out, tracks your monthly budget, and includes continuous customer support, coaching, and education. This is your first look at the Worth Account program. At the very top here, we have what we call our dashboard, and many people call this the motivators. I want you to think for a moment, if you had something that was tracking your finances 24 hours a day, like a little financial calculator, and giving you a readout of exactly how many years you had to pay off, exactly how much interest you still have remaining, and how much interest you could save, would that be a benefit to you? And everyone I've ever spoken to says yes because it puts your finances right in front of your face. It puts your finances as part of your mind's eye. The action plan here, the section in the body that you're looking at right here, 
This is populated by populating your budget and your accounts. We can say that the action plan is your to-do list or things that still need to be done. Now, I've done a small action plan here just to give you an idea of how this comes together, but I've seen action plans much larger than this, and I've seen action plans smaller than this. Remember, the action plan is tailored directly to your particular situation. By going into the Budgets tab, this is where we see our income. As you can see here at the top, $5,000 in income. If we look at the monthly expenses midway in the page, we can see we have about $4,044 in monthly expenses. And this is where we can add income and expenses and add if money is going to be transferred. Remember the program does not move money, does not pay bills. You are still using your entire banking strategy. You notice in the budget, I have food and dining as one bulk category, but I had bills and utilities broken into subcategories of phone, power, that could be water, everything else. So if you have a mind's eye that's very broad in nature, then you would just set up broad categories. If you are very detailed in nature, then you would set up a broad category with subcategories. This program will ebb and flow and can be tailored to meet how you control your your finances, this program will meet you where you are. By going into the accounts, with our program, we have the ability to add new accounts manually, but you can also add new accounts online. This would just be a matter of going online, searching out your lender, putting in your username and password, and it will download your transactions directly to the program. Very time-saving option that's involved with the Worth Account program. Over on the right-hand side, we have an accounts overview and a budget overview. And the beauty of this is it's no longer having to go to multiple websites for you to be able to check your balances to see what your progress is. If you use automatically downloaded transactions, you can come right in here and see all of your balances and see how your progress is going towards your journey towards debt elimination. We have a very robust report section in here with budgets, net worth, time frame. You can search uh, certain operations inside the program so you can pull up lists. This is an excellent backup for tax time. I do not suggest this as a replacement for Quicken or Microsoft Money or QuickBooks. Many tax accountants want to utilize those programs, but what a phenomenal backup and what a phenomenal way to be able to get very familiar with where your money is going, how you're spending your money, and how things are coming together with this program. Now, we spoke about something called funds transfers, and I want to show you this right here. We can see on 12-1-2014, it's telling us to take money out of our savings account, put it to our HELOC, in this case our ALOC, a home equity line of credit, in the amount of $1,023.64, and these red arrows always indicate a funds transfer. Again, I want to tell you, this is not an arbitrary number. This is an exact number to the penny based on your activity. Now, here's something else I want you to know. We, many people have referred to this program as a financial GPS. And we understand with the navigational GPS in your car, when you first put in the location you want to go to, the program leads you. The navigational system leads you. It tells you where to go, where to turn, how far to go, and how much time it's going to take you to get there. But we all have been using the navigation system before, and we make a wrong turn, or there is a detour, or maybe we just decided we didn't want to go to the end destination right there. We saw a sign for Cracker Barrel. We were hungry. We wanted to pull off to the side of the road, and we wanted to do that. Well, what does the navigation system do now? Well, what it does now is it begins to follow you. And I want to be very specific in that. It will start creating course adjustment to try to get you back on track to your end destination. So not only does the navigational GPS have the ability to follow you, but it has the ability to lead you. It can do both, lead and follow. And that's what we love about our program. These funds transfers are your directions to financial freedom, to I'm not paying the bank all that interest street. I'm not giving away all my money avenue. I am debt-free court. And if you get off track, if you make a little bit less money, if you have a tough month, or if you make more money, 
If you make less money, the transfers will just slow down and the dollar values will decrease if you have a difficulty with your finance. If you are doing fantastic with your finance, maybe you get a pay increase, you get a bump, you get your tax returns, it will increase the dollar value of the transfer and increase the frequencies of those transfers. So our program is in real time with you and has the ability to lead you and to follow you. One of my favorite features with this program is a feature called True Cost. And in True Cost, what we can actually do is we can act, ask the program scenarios by adding a new action. Let's say you wanted to buy a new ATV. Let's say you were looking at buying a new car. You can go into Add New Action. You can create a scenario. And what it will do is tell you, okay, this is how much it's going to cost you in the actual cost of the product but this is how much it's going to cost you in the long run. And let me just show you this line item. I'm just using something simple here. Your power bill at the end of the month is $200. That's your power bill. But what it's saying here is that by spending that $200, you notice underneath it, it says $276.50. What it's telling you is that by spending that $200, not using that $200 for debt elimination, you're actually going to pay an additional $76.50 in interest. Now, I do a scenario when I do a live demonstration, and next Monday night I'm doing a live demonstration of this product. And in this scenario, we buy an ATV for $8,000. Now, I just want you to think that that doesn't sound like a lot for an ATV. We're buying a very nice ATV for $8,000, and the true cost is $18,000. And what that means is by send, spending that $8,000 while you're still in debt, you are delaying the payoff of the other debts long enough that it will accumulate an additional $10,000 in interest. I want you to understand here real quick on the 9.3 years at the top and the $68,000 of interest remaining, if we notice our client has a first mortgage, they have a visa, they have a auto loan, and they have a home equity line of credit. 9.3 years represents all of that debt paid off in full. So understanding an advanced line of credit, it's not a savings account. Positive money does not accumulate. The balance cannot drop below zero. It is one of the vehicles that drives the worth account program. So let's pick up on month two. We had a $2,500 balance. Now the program gave us a funds transfer for let's say $5,000. I'm trying to keep all of this in round numbers so there's no confusion. We have to have our $4,000 of living expense. And remember, all of these numbers represent the ALOC. This is the bank's money. We are leveraging the bank's money and creating float. With this money, we have a new balance of $11,500 moving into month two. Interest cancellation. Okay, let's look at this. $11,500 is the balance owed. Remember, we make $5,000 a month. We're going to give it our paycheck. That's going to give us a new balance of $6,500. The bank can only charge interest on $6,500, which is $54.17. So let's review. The $2,500 start balance, by doing a $5,000 funds transfer, paying down the balance on our mortgage and our $4,000 of living expense, we have an $11,500 balance. We give it a $5,000 paycheck, and that reduces our average daily balance to $6,500. The lender was looking for $54.17. We never made a payment of $54.17. Our income covered the monthly payment. The new average daily balance with finance charge is $6,554.17. We made a payment to the ALOC of $5,000. So we paid the payment plus, plus, plus. The come together of this is $11,500 borrowed from the ALOC, bank's money. $6,500 is the only amount that is accessible with interest charges. We paid no interest on the 5000 used to buy down the principal balance on our primary mortgage. We used $5,000 of the bank's money, the bank's product, to buy down our mortgage, and we paid no interest on that money whatsoever. 
we traded $23,304 of scheduled closed-in interest charges for open-end finance charge of $54.17. That is the power of the Worth Account Program. And this would go on month after month. Our average client with a 30-year mortgage pays off between 9 and 14 years. I, I, I need you to really hear that. We're talking mortgage, car loan, credit card debts, uh, student loans. I have had people that are over a million dollars in debt that were looking at 30 years. I've had people recently with mortgage modifications that have come out that are on 36-year mortgages. And they've run their numbers through us. 36-year mortgage, uh, credit cards, cars, student loans, and they are debt-free in 10 years, 9 years, 11 years. This is an extremely powerful program. This is something for you to truly investigate and understand the power of what it is that we are showing you here. This is not hokum. This is not smoke and mirrors. We've been on the market since 2006, and we have proven this system to work. So let's just give you an example, a comparison. With an offset account, an ALOC, with a $200,000 balance on this particular mortgage, we ran it out. In one year, our balance would be $184,811. If we just made our standard payments follow the bank's program on a conventional methodology, we would have a balance of $197,543. It would take us 5.5 years to get to a balance of $184,752. With the Worth Account, pro, with, the, with the conventional program, it's 30 years, you're paying back $231,677 in interest alone, a total payback, remember that disgusting number of $431,677. With the Worth Account program, this client with a car loan, with a HELOC, with a visa, with a mortgage, will be paid off in 9.3 years. They'll only pay back $68,460 in interest. That's a total interest savings of $163,217. And if that doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. That is phenomenal numbers. We have proven these numbers out, and we give you a limited guarantee with the program, as well as we run a free analysis for every single client. But you want to hear something that's really awesome because I know right now some people cannot qualify for lines of credit, but I do want you to know lines of credit are out there and available. And at the end of the call, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about those lines of credit and we're going to have an individual come on the phone with us as well. The Worth account can use a home equity line, a personal line, a commercial line, a secured line. It can even use a credit card if it's set up correctly. But here's the beauty of what we've done with the program. The home equity isn't necessary if you can't qualify for one. The personal line, commercial line, secured line, the credit card. If you cannot qualify, you need to start somewhere to get yourself moving forward, to get yourself on top of your finances, to take control of your financial future. So we have engineered the program. That same concept works just as effectively starting out with just a checking and savings account. How simple could it possibly be to become debt-free? Well, I've just shown you the answer. I like to say that we have the answer for financial cancer. And if you knew this was the truth, if you knew this was real, wouldn't you jump all over it? Well, Ernst & Young seems to think it's real. Bill, and we've been doing this since 2006, and we're still running strong. I want everybody to get involved in this. I want you to tell your family, your friends, your coworkers. I want everyone to know about this product because we have a mission. We have a goal, and our mission is to buy America back one family at a time. So get in, get excited, and start helping to buy America back one family at a time. This has been Max Saunders, National Training and Sales Director for Worth Unlimited. I hope you have a very wonderful day.